I'm sorry, Emily will, though. Well, maybe not, because that was taken yesterday. It was my assumption that Aiden had left town after I kicked him out of the house. Well, I'm glad he stuck around, because I finally have my ticket out of this marriage. I'm just waiting for her to get home. You know, that's the first smile I've seen on you in a while. May I ask you a favor? Please give me a front row seat when you tell her. Well, I'm glad to see you finally came to your senses and hired the staff back. Now that you're leaving, I figured it was time. Excuse me? We're getting a divorce. Yes, but according to the legal definition of adultery, this doesn't prove a thing. Well, we'll see about that when we haul you into court. I can't believe this. I forgave Daniel for so much. He shot me on a night that should have been a dream come true and forced me into blaming Lydia Davis. I did it all for Daniel. After everything we've been through, all of the anguish, who could blame me for finding comfort in the arms of someone else? Consider that a preview to my testimony. I'll see you at the opera tomorrow, Daniel. You too, Victoria. Let her go. She's trying to goad you. I want her out. Why don't you practice for the spotlight? This is gonna keep getting hotter. How could you? I'm sorry? Faking a pregnancy to force Daniel into marriage? What kind of lunatic are you? You want to do this now? Your medical records are out there. Now everyone knows. Those are private. So it's true. Where are you going, Emily? You can run, Emily, but this will follow you. Your dirty little secret is out. You're nothing but a fraud and a liar who deceived my son into marriage. Emily Thorne, you are done here. After everything I've done to protect you, Daniel. This is over. You don't know what you're doing. Emily, dear, it's time to leave. Don't touch me. Divorce papers. I had them redrafted, so I don't think that settlement amount is still in there. You'll be leaving with nothing. Oh, I still have the fact that Daniel shot me. You called a press conference, got up on that balcony, and told the world that Lydia shot you. So which story is it? After last night, no one's going to believe you. You look like a resentful woman caught in a lie about a pregnancy that never existed. I guess you both got what you wanted. 